channel so today as you guys see from the title of this video i am spilling all the tea i actually got a chance to go to the first ever instagram masterclass that they ever hosted and i was in the front row taking down all the notes on what you should be doing all the instagram myths what you shouldn't be doing so if you guys want to know all the gossip about that please keep watching okay guys so i put through a couple of bullet points so that i don't ramble too much in this video but one of the first questions that we had to ask instagram is shadow ban a real thing and apparently it's not guys nope it is not a real thing apparently if you guys don't know what shadow ban is it's basically when you post and you use hashtags and stuff like that but instagram are actually hiding your posts but there are things that will make your post do not as well so the main one is if you're on a site like i don't know facetune or any other website where you have to kind of log in to post through instagram like a third party app then that is very likely that your post won't do well because Instagram thinks that oh a account is trying to post on your behalf so Instagram will not push that image further out so the best thing you can do is edit on whatever app edit on Final Cut Pro but do not post straight from Final Cut Pro do not post straight from iMovie you need to download that image and then upload it straight from your actual app on Instagram that is the best way to make sure that your posts are going through so that's something that I personally don't do but I know probably a lot of you guys will edit on i don't know visco cam or, or facetune and then you press upload on instagram like right from the app which you shouldn't do you should go only directly on the app they have also told us that now you should only be using three to five hashtags no more than that they said you can use up to 30 hashtags but your post won't do as well so now unfortunately <laughs> This is something that I've been messing up. I've been putting like, up to 30 hashtags because I want to make sure my post is going out to as many hashtags and as many places as people can find me as possible. But now they said that it's only good to do three to five guys. So, yeah, I heard it from the horse's mouth. Also, they said that you should try to use your own hashtag as well. So I should hashtag X Tweelie so people can start to find your posts and stuff like that. So I am going to try to do that, I guess. I'm going to try to take on their advice. I don't know if this would be good for everybody, but I do think that look at Huda Beauty. Like she must have started off just using hashtag Huda Beauty and then now her hashtags get used over like 20 million times. So maybe that'll be me one day. Who knows, bitch? Also, something else that the Instagram team told us that you should definitely put your hashtags inside of your caption. Do not put it inside of your comments as well because that will also lessen the engagement so make sure guys that your hashtag is inside the caption okay okay so next question i was thinking of you guys and i was like so if one of my followers was like right i want to grow my instagram i want to make a business out of this what is the best way to do that and they told me the kind of generic thing that i guess everyone kind of says is that you need to make good quality content you need to make sure that it is what you want to do so if you want to do beauty start doing beauty posts if you want to do fashion and lifestyle do fashion and lifestyle you should be very consistent so that your followers kind of know what they're kind of tuning in for they didn't say that you should post once a day they said do whatever is good for your mental health and it was a really big thing mental health they just want to make sure that instagram is a good place to be now that's why they've currently brought up um, a whole new thing about anti-bullying and stuff like that so the next question i asked is how do we get on the explore page what is the secret on getting onto the explore page and basically they kind of said that everyone's explore page is completely different so it completely depends on who you follow, what you like on Instagram, what you comment on Instagram and also who your friends follow. So that also comes into how Instagram kind of puts things into your explore page so if you kind of like a lot of this content if you actually double tap and if you comment and stuff like that instagram kind of searches for people that your friends follow and stuff like that they have mutual friends and then they'll suggest it onto your explore page so it is very individual to you so if you guys want to see different stuff on your explore page then maybe search new things follow new people like their stuff and that's how instagram knows how to kind of place your feed as well another question that i really want to know is why did you stop the chronological order and they said that trust me you do not want a chronological order apparently from statistics they actually found out that unfollow rates were so much higher when things were in chronological order so they basically gave us an example of like if your friend was out on a night out and they uploaded like 20 photos to instagram if it's chronological order it will just be your friend your friend your friend your friend so instagram has kind of done it now so it depends on what you actually like and what you comment on so if you are struggling at the moment and your feed is not going onto people's instagram pages and stuff like that you need to try to get 
them to engage as much as you can one of the other questions that kind of led into it is how do i get engagement like what tips would you say would be the best way to start getting people to not be ghost followers and start commenting your stuff so a tip that they gave is to start using instagram live and i was like really i never go to instagram live so that's probably why and they said that that's one of the best ways to get people to be active to get to know you more and feel more of a connection as much connection as we can give it to our followers like if you comment on their page if you like their stuff they are more inclined to like want to comment to your things also liking their stuff to know that you acknowledge that you read the comment that gives them a little boost of like oh my favorite instagrammer just liked myself or just went on my page or just followed me like that is something that people kind of strive for these days so you want to make sure you engage with your audience comment back like back like on their stuff they said don't go on to live just for the sake of it the best kind of lives they said i think it's over six minutes so you want to try to go online but not just for the sake of it you want to go like when you have something to say when you have a special event coming out you want to get people excited for it that is the best time to go online so they also said that make sure you save your lives so that people can watch 24 hours later also another way to get engagement is to start doing instagram stories more and make sure you don't echo your content so i was like what the hell is echoing your content and that basically means if you're posting something on snapchat don't just copy your whole thing on snapchat and just put it onto insta stories because it's a different audience if they've seen that already they're not going to engage they're just going to like swipe right and move on to the next person so if you want to start getting your insta stories at the start of people's pages then you need to make sure that people watch through all of your insta stories so if you post loads and loads and loads of insta stories where it's like little dots people are not going to watch that through people are going to tap through so you want to make sure you look at the retention that you're holding your audience in for if people are dropping that probably means you're a bit boring and stuff like that so you want to make sure you keep it like spicy you know switch it up they also said do things like boomerangs super zooms you know do flat lays and doing talking videos so it kind of shows more of a story they also said that whenever you're at an event don't just snap one thing at the event like just say like guys today we are off to an event today or post multiple stories so that people know where you are they know what you're doing and that also brings in more engagement because they feel more of a connection so apparently if you do loads of polls and now you can do little emojis where you can like swipe right and stuff like that that also counts as engagement people want to feel a part of what you're doing also they said that on insta stories you should try to caption your video so even if you're talking you should maybe put like a little summary of what you say apparently 40 percent of users do not turn on the sound whereas 60 percent of people do turn on sound so you want to try to accommodate for a hundred percent of your audience talk and then also put a little caption as well for the people that are too lazy to press the tap to listen to your ass you know another thing that i found really really helpful was they said that your highlight reel is so important it actually determines whether people will follow you or not depending on your highlight reel so i was like highlight reel like i never even thought that was even a thing that was just a new added feature they said if you think about it, people will go on your page and never met you before they'll click on your highlight reel for example my highlight reel was just random stuff i'm like oh, i'll just add on to my highlights and you can actually keep that on there forever so whatever you post on insta story you can add it to your highlights but the way i was using it before was completely wrong i just added random stuff and then when i rewatched it back i was like this doesn't even make any sense it looks like jumping all over the place so he used will smith as an example he apparently will smith is one of the fastest growing people on instagram even though he was like a bit older he didn't have any idea about social media but he goes on insta stories every day he uses his highlight reel and he uses evergreen content I was thinking, what the hell is evergreen content? But basically, what evergreen means is that it never goes out of style. It's not just seasonal. It's not just like Halloween looks. It's not just like, oh, I went for a dinner. It's kind of like stuff that is forever on trend. If you do go on Will Smith's page, he does things like motivational speaking, self-love, all these different topics about like motivational talks. And generally, people will never get bored of that. They always want to listen to people that's inspiring, especially from someone that's so well well known so that is classes evergreen content which is what i'm going to tr start to try to do now i'm going to try to focus a lot more insta stories make sure i kind of rotate them every like few months and make sure i keep it fresh so yeah that's something really exciting i didn't even think that was a thing before but now that i think about it, i'm like yeah if people go on my page and that's what they see from my highlight reel and that's some dry ass shit i don't want people thinking my stuff is dry ass shit you know because it's spicy up in here okay 
Also, another way to engage more of an audience is to not be perfect. Apparently before, there was like, Instagram is the place to put your perfect self on there. But they actually found that when people start to show emotion or when people was more like funny and start to show their personality more, that's when people get the most engagement. So I've definitely seen it from other Instagrammers that I follow. Like, you know, Bretman Rock, he's so funny. His videos are hilarious. Cardi B, she's hilarious. She does like funny videos. She doesn't care about she has no makeup on or makeup on she just kind of like posts whatever and her engagement is awesome and obviously she's like a massive celebrity now and her personality kind of got her to where she is at now that definitely kind of taught me to be a bit more funny because i'm always like so hilarious on snapchat i kind of like talk about whatever's on my mind whereas on insta stories i want to be a bit more prim and proper so now i'm definitely going to show my personality more on insta stories so another question that i asked because i knew i was going to make this video is what if i have followers but i'm not getting the engagement that i want just for example i have a hundred thousand followers but i'm not getting the likes i'm not getting the comments that i want like what would you suggest so what they said to me was your content is probably shit they didn't say it in that exact words but that's what they was kind of gisting they were trying to say that basically you need to up your content and i completely agree there's quite a lot of people that i follow and their engagement is not that great and i think that there's so many things they could do to spice things up they need to change start doing more videos or if they're doing videos already try to change up the videos change your music change your editing style change your poses change where you do your makeup you need to keep things spicy a lot of times when people see the same old stuff it's so repetitive and people these days do not want repetitive they want new stuff they want things that are like hot and fresh right now you know so you need to make sure that you're on top of things making sure you're uploading regularly don't just upload here and then don't upload for five days again Again, you want to make sure you're doing good quality content so if you find your photos aren't doing that good maybe you need a better camera or you need better lighting or you need to edit a bit better there's always ways to change things up and i've always said this for a long time that you want to keep things hot things spicy if you feel that like you're even bored of your own page then time to shape up girl start to do new shit so the last question that i asked them was how do i get verified oh bitch i'm sure this is a question that a lot of people are asking for you guys know that i'm over a million on instagram and your girl's still not verified okay okay i just had to go and ask them how to get verified is it like a checklist or what is it so basically apparently for instagram you have to submit yourself and they look at if you get searched for a lot of the times if people try to impersonate you and also they look outside of instagram so they search on google how many times people are following you they've obviously got all this access to behind the scenes so if you've got loads of news articles about you, you've been on tv you've been on other media stuff like that you have a higher chance to get verified and a lot of times people will kind of work with agencies and stuff like that and their agents will put people through so that's generally how people get verified but i have recently submitted myself to get verified so hopefully fingers crossed guys we can get that blue tick okay please please instagram if you're watching if there's anyone out there verify me please please I've done many a birthday wishes on this. So one more quick question that I ask is, can you please explain the rules on Instagram? Because sometimes I see people use some hot current music, but my friends have also tried to use current music and they've got a strike against their name. So I ask them, what are the rules for music? Because it seems to be like one person's okay and another person's not okay. So in the next couple of weeks, they're working on a way so that people can use kind of current music. So that's to be confirmed. So that's a little inside scoop for you guys. So something else that they're also also working on i don't know what i have to tell you guys you know but let's just keep this between us okay they're gonna be working on a way to mute people so that they don't come up on your feed but you don't want to offend people by unfollowing them oh god oh, 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 that's a good ass update bitch i also told them that they need to up their filters game okay i told two people from instagram i was like please update your filters because you need like a skin smoothing filter you need something that people can come on without wearing no makeup and people don't care that like, i want to be able to talk on there but the filters are whack man they're whack and apparently the reason why they haven't been focusing on those beauty kind of filters is because they don't want to put the pressure on for people to feel like they have to look good and stuff like that you know and i was like no that doesn't make any sense bitch they they said that they took on my feedback so hopefully in the next couple of weeks and the ne next few updates they're going to be updating their filters and giving that swipe right skin smoothing thing like snapchat okay thank me later guys <laughs> okay guys 
so that's it for this video. I hope you guys found some good ass information. This is from the horse's mouth. There's no shadow ban, guys. Do not worry about that. You just need to make sure you up your game, up your content, start commenting back, start liking back. There's so many new things. I feel so much more inspired after that masterclass. But guys, there is another masterclass coming and it's going to be just for beauty influencers only. So I'm like, yes, I'm actually the one that's going to be heading it up. Team out with Instagram. I spoke to the manager of Instagram and me and him are going to do a little thing with the beauty community. So I want you guys to comment down below. What questions do you guys have for Instagram? What do you guys want to see on Instagram? What updates can they do? Any suggestions? Comment them down below because I have the direct contact now of Instagram and I'm going to be speaking up for us and our community guys. We're going to do it together. Okay, you nasty. Yes. If you guys haven't yet, please make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweetly on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you guys my next video. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Enjoy the bloopers, guys. I'm dead. Let me just hide my car so people don't fucking rob my ass. One second. Okay, so I kind of bullet point. Bullet point. Okay, guys. Let me just calm down, bitch. My mum's calling me. Ah! I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to have something to eat because I was so going I'm hungry. Did I just talk the whole time with something in my teeth? Oh, my God. I talk so much.